Good afternoon, Taurus, and how are you doing today? Welcome back to another tarot reading with me, Soulful. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get into this, and if I have any announcements, you will hear it at the end of this video. Okay? How are you guys doing today? Oof. I've had a very busy day. Very busy week. I have to fit in a lot of stuff. This Today... I'm going to be starting my trip tomorrow. All right. Let's get into this. Tell me what is going on with Taurus today. What is going on with the Taurus Collective today? With the Taurus energy, please. Are you guys looking forward to Halloween? <laughs> Tell me. Okay. We have Page of Swords in reverse. Hmm. I feel there's some blocked communication going on right now, Taurus. Okay. Whether this is you or another person, we'll find out. This is definitely with the newer energy, the moon here. Okay. Hmm. Let's get a bit more here. I see what's happening here. And there it is. Three of pentacles. So Taurus, I feel there is a person on your mind or someone in your energy, okay, here that is not communicating with you and it is causing a massive, okay, it's causing some kind of moon in reverse here. It could be a water sign, possible cancer here that you're dealing with. Um, maybe Pisces too. You're drowning in your emotions and I feel you may be spying or watching this person at a distance, okay? And you really, really want to work on this here with the Three of Pentacles. Uh, you really want to get this going with this person, but I feel there is definitely a block here with this Page of Swords, okay? So let's go ahead and start getting deeper into the reading. Um... The funny thing is with the Page of Swords in reverse is sometimes the energy is a little immature, okay? And I feel you could also be dealing with someone younger than you that you're wanting to talk to or you're coming off with a younger kind of energy, all right? So tell me about the Page of Swords in reverse here. Tell me about the Page of Swords in reverse for Taurus. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Okay, we have Five of Swords. More Swords energy, more air energy. Moon in reverse again. All right, so that is confirming for me in, in this reading, Taurus, that you have been spending a lot of time kind of drowning in your emotions about a specific person. And I feel that you and this person are in conflict. Yep, here we are. <laughs> um, you know, you got to be careful, Taurus, because I think this other person's energy may actually be a little combative, um, if not combative, a little bit manipulative. This could be a person who likes to win at all costs, okay? Somebody that has caused a storm in your life, okay? And now you feel like you have to fight for this person or fight for this situation for one reason or another. There could also be competition with this person and another person in their life. But seeing the moon twice here tells me, Taurus, if you are drowning right now, okay, emotionally feeling like you can't get out of the waves, right? And, and, and there's too much illusion going on. Um, you got to be careful here, okay? Uh, you got to get clear, or at least you're trying to get clear on what this is. Um, it's, it can also speak to tr finally getting clarity about how a person is as well. Oh my goodness, Emperor Reverse. So Taurus, um, you're really trying to control yourself, control this situation. You could also be dealing with a fire sign as well that is a control freak. But I definitely get the vibe here that <sighs> just morose kind of energy. I I'm feeling this morose energy. Okay, we've got a King of Cups. And the death card in reverse. Okay. 
So here it is, right? Okay, here it is with this moon card in the middle here. I definitely feel, Taurus, that emotionally this person is not investing in you as much as you're investing in them. Uh, with the death card here in reverse, it's almost like the change the change is being avoided in a sense uh, by this person and possibly even by you to, to come to an understanding here that this moon energy you've been in, these illusions that you've been in for quite some time may need to be released finally. Okay, so when you're in this state here of wanting to share your emotion, you could also have water in your chart. Okay, Taurus, wanting to share your emotion with someone that makes you feel as though you have to compete for their attention, compete for their affection is causing more and more illusion. And uh, tell me about the three of pentacles. I'm getting a headache within this energy. I don't know if someone here is, has a headache. I'm getting it. It's, on, it's at the uh, front of the head, like on the forehead. It's almost like I haven't had enough ca caffeine feeling. That's what it feels like. Not, not enough caffeine. And I know that's not me. I don't drink caffeine anymore. So let's see. Four cups. So this is, a, this is, I feel, a cycle, Taurus. Maybe you constantly offer to this person and they avoid it. Okay, you're like, I want to work on this. Here's my cup of love. And they ignore you. Okay. Uh, yeah, they ignore you. Okay. With the eight of wands here in reverse, they don't communicate with you and you're all gung ho, but you're also kind of in a stalker mode here with the page of swords in reverse. It's like, there's no communication, but for some reason, um, the illusion is more alluring of, of, of the fight or of what could possibly be but this person and you aren't communicating. They block out your emotions. They block out the fact you want to work on this. They block, block, block. Uh, let's get one more. Empress energy here. Okay, also Taurus energy, um, Earth energy here. I, I hate to say this, but I feel as though the, the conflict here is that this person may have somebody else in their life okay it's the empress energy here is they are it's almost like they're trying to protect the person in their life that they are with and it's the empress energy emperor in reverse over here and the empress this is them as a couple okay this is this is these two um and i feel whatever i mean i know this is a really hard reading here but i feel what is what is happening here is the communication is not being resolved because this person is focused on their relationship it's also possible the person they're with is a control freak as well or they're a control freak um but this this situation is just god my head hurts when i when i connect with this energy it just feels like i'm trying i'm trying and it's getting nowhere it's like this brick wall, okay? Um, let's ask about the moon card. Hmm. Gotta see the truth here. Gotta see the truth. Tell me about the moon card, please, for Taurus. Tell me about the moon card, please, for Taurus. Lovers. So this is definitely about the relationship, them making a choice for you, you making a choice for them. This is definitely about love. Okay. This is someone that you see as your match, but you're drowning. Okay. in the illusion of what is the possibility in this relationship. It's like you're giving your, you're giving the energy towards this person when it comes to love, but they're not reciprocating. In fact, they're blocking out your energy. Uh, give me some more here. Tell me about the, and this is, this is, ca sorry, this is causing a problem. Okay, this is, there's something here, Taurus, and we'll definitely explore this in the extended reading. This is a problem. You're investing energy into some situation here that is blocked. And I feel this person is blocking out your energy and taking care of themselves instead of working with you. And I feel they may have another person. So I'm what what confuses me is why 
the illusion continues that there's supposed to be something here. You know, sometimes we have to actually pay attention to what's happening in reality. Tell me about the uh, death card in reverse here. Ace of Wands in reverse. I mean, it's blocked, you know. Uh, it's blocking your passions as well. It's blocking a new start. Maybe you're blocking out. You're holding on. It's like that person who holds a candle for someone forever and ever. Okay, even though that person is not there. Um, you're, you're preventing your new starts with this death. You're, you're preventing change. You're preventing <laughs> passion. You're blocking it out. Tell me about the Eight of Wands, please. Tell me about the Eight of Wands, please, for Taurus. Seven of Swords in reverse. You know, I feel this person turned their back, okay, on this situation and they blocked it out. They didn't take any more action and they decided to change their life and go in a different route. So what's happening over here is just lovers, you're still hoping, okay, that's what I'm getting. You're still hoping that this person will make a choice for you. If we get the hangman, we'll definitely know for sure. But man, my head, my head. What is this? Somebody has a headache. Okay, massively. Let's go ahead and connect here with the energy oracle. I want to get you some of these messages and then we'll take it on over to the extended. Okay, Taurus? Message do we have? What message do we have for Taurus? What message do we have for Taurus? The thinking man. Okay. So yeah, I feel as though not only is this something you've been trying to manifest, but uh, the thinking man could also be going to someone and getting advice, getting information that you need. Okay, you may need to actually do this or at least sit down with the side of your brain that's analytical and try to figure out why exactly you're drowning in these emotions and illusions too much for a situation that is not, from the looks of it, they're, they've they're turned over the new leaf and they have blocked this out. Um, let's let's get one more, one more, please. Indecision. Okay, this is your energy. You know, you've got a choice here in your life, Taurus, and that choice is stay on this path of hoping, you know, uh, even though this person's blocking you, or take decisive action and go the other route. You know, you're coming, it, this is a crossroads here for your life. Mm. We'll definitely explore this uh, over in the extended. Let's get you a Moonology Oracle card. Tell me what advice for Taurus here. I just got to get out of this energy. My head is killing me from this. I don't know where that came from. Some of you may be not getting enough um, water, okay? Like you're feeling dehydrated. Um, a fiery climax approaches Aries energy. You know what? This, okay, this. Be careful, Taurus, how much you invest in this other person because I feel as though whoever they're with could have some backlash. Now, this won't be for all of you, but someone could come down on you if you continue putting your energy into this and try to stop you from putting your energy into this. Like, like I said, I'm getting a real stalker vibe here with the Page of Swords in reverse. Okay, like someone can't stop. Now, some of you could actually flip this energy. You could have a stalker on your hands. <laughs> this energy is not good. There's, there's a definite headache. There's um, pain. There's investing energy. It's just it's not good, okay? All right, Taurus, if you want more answers, come follow me over on my Patreon page. 
Six bucks a month gives you full access to extendeds. We'll dive deeper into this Ace of Wands in reverse. We'll check out on this Emperor and we're gonna see about this fiery climax and the lover's card. I wanna see if there's something that you can do or something to help you through this situation because I think that you really, really, really want it. Um, but unfortunately you're being blocked, okay? And it's not coming through for you. So we'll go take a look at that. All right, I will see you guys later. Bye.